Welcome. This is the eighth wonder of the world. Uh, today, we're going to take a look inside my Robinhood portfolio. I'm going to show you guys one new asset a day instead of going through five. So I'm going to make these uh, videos pretty quick. Something different. Um, kind of break up, break up my content instead of just boom, giving it all out and trying to suffocate somebody with it. I'm just trying something new so let's get into it okay today's new asset is going to be oh before i get into my new asset um just a little rundown this is my um portfolio my total twelve thousand five hundred eighty eight um i don't i'm not concerned with live one day one week one month three month one year i go straight to all So with straight to all, I pretty much, this is how I gauge my portfolio. And I've noticed with having a portfolio that um, I'm on TradeBase. It's, it's an app on that you can only get on your phone. I, I don't think there's a, you can get it on website. But I, I check it. I see You can see other the way other people invest. And pretty much what I've been seeing is tech heavy tech heavy and another thing that I've noticed with uh, ETFs like they'll try to sell you something say like eSports or something like that or um, uh, what was an example pretty much any like small caps um, I'm starting to understand the ETFs too they'll inject uh, tech tech companies within say you're 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 looking at water utilities okay the water utilities um, it pretty much has a list um, it has a few companies, but within the companies, you'll see like a couple of tech companies to kind of boost up its uh, its growth. So I've noticed that. But pretty much the way I'm investing, I'm investing in the entire m market, whether it's companies, whether it's uh, ETFs, uh, all the ETFs. I mean, they're so. It's just a, to me, it's another world. I pretty much I break down. Um, into three categories of how I invest into the stock market because my my theory on investing in the market because this is the only way we as the people we get to play the game that the corporations play you know and I'm I'm on my way to building a corporation because I want to play the same exact game but in America that's game on a lot of people understand you go to America naturally you're gonna get swallowed up so that's how I look at like being in America. So currently I'm in uh, Colombia. Um, got my family out here. I, I'm I'm on a different strategy. So I'll be here until September. September be ready to roll. I'll be ready to rock and roll because I do business with the government. I stopped doing business with people because I just, um, just the way like being honest and being straightforward. Like they they don't respect that. And if you see a lot of guys out here. That's why I think it was hard for me to break into just being on YouTube because I wanted to jump in, but it's like, you know what? I just kept telling, it was even hard for me to start back up again, you know, just to get going. Because in my mind now, you know, now that I'm a student of filmmaking, I'm trying to perfect it. But now I'm like, all right, let me go ahead and just shoot this and go with it, you know, day one all over again. Even though I put out like 200 of these videos in California, I'm in Colombia, different vibe, more relaxed. But I want to get more, I want to get inspired to shoot. I'm in South America. I can shoot some beautiful footage and uh, let you guys, you know, that are, I know how it is. Like, I'm used to every summer that I'm working. I'm working. I'm studying. I'm grinding. I lived in the U.S. all my life. And just to be in another country and to be like, wow. Because um, I, I don't want to say I made it. You know, because if I say that, then I'm going to be relaxed and then that's my, and that's the rest of my life. I'm, I'm keep. I'm keeping myself going with stuff. So this is pretty much, I jumped in this game real late. I started as a, as when I was younger. Um, mutual funds were big back then. I think that now they, well, they kind of changed it over to like ETFs to get rid of that bad, bad rep that they had. But I wish I, I had an account up to $6,000. It was, just, it was a lot. And I was living in Orlando at the time. So I was trying to get into music. So my thing was, um, I was just young, partying all the time, having a good time, going, lear, trying to learn to trade. I did a lot of networking, not going to lie. I did a, a whole lot of networking in Orlando, Florida. So I went to a, a after I, I got out the military, I went into a, 
a school. I went to a school called Full Sail. It's right, it's like right off of University Avenue, uh, uh, something like that, and it goes right into like UCF, University of Central Florida. So um, I was trying to break in with music. I think now I'm gonna get back into it because I'm getting bored. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I'm gonna do one video a day on this, and this, and because this is fascinating to me. As a kid, I came up cutting grass, shoveling snow in the winter, raking the leaves in the uh, in the fall, and then uh, spring. Spring, I pretty much I did sweep sidewalks and trying to prep prep for mowing grass, and then I. I and then I got around a group of guys that were I was in high school with, and they were we were all into sports. So being an Air Force brat, you know, you're around the best of the best. And I think too, I miss that, cause it, to me, in in this is my personal opinion, that uh, military people they just have this fire in them that is to me is so attractive, cause you can speak to them and they'll understand exactly, you know, like exactly the level of intensity that you're on not like you talk to normal people i think that and that, that's why i'm gonna start doing these youtubes daily because it's gonna help with my with my depression i suffer from it so i'm gonna keep myself busy that's to me i'm like if i if i sit in solitude yeah i could do that on on another vibe like meditation but i'm way past that i've meditated wow half my life more than half played played a lot so now this is this is the, the my fourth quarter in life so 40 years old but i feel young you know and i don't want to feel like oh um i hit the wall today was a re felt real depressing for me for some reason um but i but in my in my mind luckily i have these beautiful subconscious programs that snap me back up again and get me out of it because i've been in i mean summertime is my thing you know i was just used to like going to parties and oh man chasing chasing females or not even chasing i used to like watching i'm more you know the beauty you know chasing wasn't my thing i never i didn't like i don't know how to chase her and i go like yeah chase like a female, I don't know, if for a man to chase a woman, it just doesn't, it just seems like the woman comes to the man. That's how I've, that's how I see it. So, okay, enough of that. <laughs> uh, let's get into it. This is uh, pretty much um, the stocks that I own. I own 149. And they range from 1000 all the way to a dollar. So I'm just collecting and... Uh, I'm building my index fund, which is going to be called DNA Level C 1978 Index Fund. So, and I'm starting to learn, just learn about it. It's going to take me years, probably a decade. I got to ride it out. I mean, this keeps me, my thing now, because my money slowed down um, during the summer, because I'm not, usually I make my, my money in the States. And when I make my money in the States, I just like buying companies. It's just thrilling. So I got 148 assets which are stocks etfs and reits all mixed in there and then uh six cryptocurrencies one two three four five six this one just came out so i'm a little skept really skeptical on it even though these are all skeptical i've only invested ten dollars in each of these accounts so and they're just to test test the theory uh let me go into one right now let me see which one was that I think it was uh, not not Dogecoin. I think it was Light. Look what the light is up. See, I only I only invested uh, ten dollars into it, so I made like seven dollars and uh, seventy two cents, seventy seven percent. So this is just something I'm just pretty much playing with, you know, just to get the feel of how it is. And just I bought this back in April, so it's just something. You gotta take you gotta take those other risks. I mean, oh man, hold up! <laughs> I blew that one up. Okay, I don't want to be up that big. I felt like the uh, I'm I'm telling you, I felt like what's his name, the genie from Aladdin, when that just happened. <laughs> oh man, I right, dope, pretty dope movie. I, I'm still I'm still hooked on the animation though. That's still legend. That's that's still um 
what I'm with. Me being a filmmaker, man, it's I'm oh, currently I'm watching on Netflix Lost. There's like six seasons and I'm in season two. The stories the, yo, shout out uh, yo uh JJ Abrams. I've been noticing name on, on, on the shows. I'm like, hmm. I just like his style his style of storytelling. Nice. That loss. I don't know if you, any of you guys seen it. I I was pretty much um those were my military days. Me getting out, going to Orlando when when loss was was uh I remember people used to talk about it. I've just never I, I was too busy partying with my battles. I used to run the streets, having a good time. My gosh, being a soldier, oh uh, putting putting your life down. Wow. What I think that's one thing too that I, that I miss is the the adrenaline living on the edge like that cuz the military will definitely give you that <sighs> miss it jeez but I'll be back I got to I'll be back in September so oh and another thing too what I was saying before I deal with the government people are like I don't deal with the government ah, bah, 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 bah. fine I mean the if you think about it, they pr printing money now. They're prepping for it. By by first of October this year, there's gonna be newly newly money printed to go to lend out again. Created money. That's why I'm saying like people think money money's not money. Like even this game, you know, I my concept of playing 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 the. Uh, the U.S. corporate game that it's set up, Monopoly in the U.S., that's what it, a game of Monopoly. That's what uh, the U.S. is to me. Whatever I land on, I buy. When I pass 200 go, when I pass go, you collect $200. That's just like every year you're going to automatically collect $200 because you know they're going to print money. So no, no one uh, borrow money. And people that's like, I don't borrow money, um, you, you're, you're missing out. Like, Pretty much my philosophy, I invest in stocks. I invest in precious metals. I invest physical and ETFs. So that's down in here. The reason why I, I, I play this game is because I'm playing the rule of 72. You know, whatever I do, like the way I, the, my style is like worry-free. This is, this is 50 years into the future. That's how I'm looking. Like they say 10, 20, yeah, but I'm pretty, I want to see further than that. I buy it, and once I buy it, boom, it's there. So pretty much I'm building the foundation first. Everybody, I've noticed a lot of people when they, they, they'll they invest, the, the the way they're thinking, I, I think is obsolete. Because they, they got like, they'll put all their money, and to me, I could tell they're new, you know, even though the, the quantity, like you'll see like 30,000, 30, 50,000, 100,000, 2 million, um, half a uh, half a mil, three hundred thousand, you know, but their companies that they're invested in, it's not that I could tell that they're like this is a whole another, it's a whole another realm. Of, it's just a, a concept. Once you understand it, then you play it. If not, you're gonna be like the, these guys. I um, uh, I'm probably going. I'm gonna do a show on that trade base. I'm gonna shoot it from my phone and just go over like how I analyze like other the way other people are investing. Cause sometimes I just wanna I want something to go off of my style of investing, but my style of investing is in a good market, it's gonna it's gonna shoot to the moon. In a bad market, it's not gonna hit it's not gonna hit the bottom. It's not gonna hit it. This is what my portfolio is designed. I'm I'm invested in stocks. Whether they're in the U global in the global stocks, companies around the world. Uh, second, my second category is uh, index funds, ETFs. That is a whole nother world. iShares, Vanguard, um, iShares, Vanguard, uh, PowerShares, Vanguard. Wow. Oh, SP SPDR, Spiders. And then they get broken down. Like you can buy from. Uh, Colombia ETF, India ETF, China ETF, and then they got ETFs where it's like sp specified for like water ETFs. Uh, pretty much those are all water companies. They're doing the work for you, but pretty much this, I'm buying all the companies, whether they're stocks, index funds, and then last but not least is REITs. And REITs are pretty much you've, uh, you're 
you're investing in real estate. And my thing, my, my portfolio, my total, not just th this is included in my bigger portfolio. This is like my, I call this my, my Robin Hood portfolio. It's pretty much the, the paper side of it. Um, stocks, buying stocks. But the reason why I'm I'm playing this game because this is easy easy flip. Because once you got it in there, you never touch it. This, this money is going to stay in there forever. I'm going to pass it on to my kids, my son, and... He's gonna run with it. I'm gonna give him the philosophy. Don't. This is a money making machine. You know. You you keep this in the family. All your other 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 shit you want to do, whatever. Do do what you gotta do. But this right here, you don't sell nothing in it. And all dividends and profits from this, you buy. Keep buying companies. Keep buying newer companies till you buy the whole entire. Until you buy the whole entire stock market. And that's what I plan on doing. So right as of now, I have like 77 sectors, 77, about 1,500 uh, companies, including index funds and REITs. So this is, this is my strategy, my journey. Um, my thing is build um, brick by brick. So I started out buying $5, $10, $50. You build... A lot of this stuff, um, a lot of this, okay, I think, yeah, my wife just got here, so get my son ready for soccer practice out here in South America. Oh, Colombia's coming through in this Copa, so, I mean, they're fucking... You saw what they were doing, but enough of that. I thought my wife was gonna come on, come in here, and I had to uh, start the show again. But um, yeah, I was gonna record this five. I can, yeah, I don't know. I just have I, I, five minutes is not enough for me. Um, and it, it for me to talk this opportunity to talk and give you guys this. Oh my gosh, <laughs> these gems that are that that are just coming out. It's and this is my whole life. Like I lived, uh, I'm now built, like I've, I, I, did, I did things backward. As young, at, when I was younger, I traveled around the world young and then I was trying to make money, but I was like, yo, that takes up a lot of your time. So I was like, okay, so I still stuck to traveling, getting more experience around the world, getting to know people, blah, blah, blah. And then now I'm, do, now it's like, oh shit, I'm, I feel like I'm doing it backwards. Like I'm learning about these stuff, like, this concept of stocks like but it took me i'm gonna say like a year i started in 20 yeah about a year and a half two years to get this concept down and i'm still working on it and i'm like holy shit and i'm just thinking to myself imagine myself in you know 10 more years eight more years that's that's a decade this is this is gonna be at a million by then the way just the, the focus that i'm on it now but my money's not all into this. This that's crazy. That's it's just, that's it's just crazy to me. And then to just put all your money into this, like um, I got real estate. I'm starting to get into that. I got a piece of land out in Colombia. The reason why I got it, my property out here, because it's just for me. It gives me. If I don't have nothing outside of the U.S., I'll never leave, even with vacations. So this is this is nice to force me. Plus, my family's here, and they have. I mean, pretty much like the just living here is like holy shit. Like if um, like I'm thinking of even doing just video on on living here as an American, you know, like the way people should live and and get out, but people don't get out, so they don't know, they don't come back with refresh energy. So when I come back to Cali to the U.S., I'm coming back with with refresh energy, cause you keep circulating and it's gonna eat, it's gonna, it's gonna eat you up so i mean that's just the way i see it out there and uh i mean my strategy so pretty much i invest in the stock in stocks um this is my bigger port this is pretty much my uh my big portfolio for me like my valuation so stocks land and then precious metals and currently building a business i just gotta find a product or service and i'm still working on that you know, in the meantime, um, I'm a film student at the Academy of Art University. Uh, my grades, I got a B plus. 
in oh, what was that shit? sound design a b plus in social media marketing a b in art history and then a c in emerging technologies and then i i'm in a program the voc va voc rehab any veterans out there um this program if you're a veteran you're missing out oh my god um and then plus my strategy too is if you're going to get into these programs either go to a place where they have high bah don't get yourself comfortable in these places rent stack up that's the strategy you know if you're like a, if you're a soldier you know talking to the u.s military soldiers it's like a you i treat mine like a, a deployment like right now i'm here in in colombia loving it vacation you know in uh this is pretty much recoup time so i'm recouping my energy i'm ready for september so september get here i do business with the government so i'm looking for any contracts with them um they'll have new money by the first of october first of october that's why i, I come fresh um i don't wear myself out in the summertime i used to do that and then when october november came i was already burned out and i've noticed the 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 money the money seasons are from February to May, and then it starts back up from September to December. So, and then those other months take those take those months and recoup, recoup. That's what and that's what I'm starting to. This is a new strategy strategy for me to to alleviate the burnout. And pretty much I'm on the compound uh, interest game with. Uh, with my portfolio, what I'm showing you, Robinhood is a beast. If if you want to learn, be a beginner. Start out with Robinhood. Beginning, like I've, they got cryptocurrencies you can play with. Buy, buy a dollar's worth. Here, uh, you can buy stocks a dollar's worth. Have a watch list. I, I learned everything through the, with the stock market with Robinhood. So, if if you're a beginner, start with Robinhood. Start just one dollar. Two dollar the next day, three dollars a day. You bit, that's how you build yourself. And now it's known as whoa. I'm a, I'm at twelve thousand. Look at this. I'm I I already hit. I, I went past ten. You know I hit the. I, you know I was like I'm going to ten, and then, you know I was like okay going into the summer. I was like let me at least hit ten. I hit twelve going into the summer. So I was like oh, and I knew how to invest it right away. Boom, and I knew what companies to buy right away. Boom. So that's one part. Now I got what I'm doing on the side is doing, um, well, my second portfolio is uh, investing in precious metals. Let me show you um, who I, Amex. I shop with these guys. On another, I'll probably shoot another one and I'll have my gold bars. I got it in my uh, safety box. So this is who I buy from. I mean, right as of now, oof, like I was looking at gold at 12000 Um, I'm probably going to see what it's looking like next year. Because my thing is, if I, um, I want to invest in gold, but the way I broke it down, I buy one, out, one troy ounce for the year and then $100 a month. Uh, yeah, $100 a month, so that's about $1,200. Um, but, what I, but my strategy with that, buying um, my precious metals, um, I use credit my a credit card from capital one there's these i have two of them and one of them is for um pretty much the higher um precious metals which is platinum um gold and palladium and then i have a, a second uh capital one card where it's a lower balance and i just buy silver so i got a sil and that's the quick silver <laughs> just think about it it's funny uh quick so my quick silver i buy silver um, because of it's because of the balance I have with that, and then with my platinum Mastercard, I have a higher balance. I buy the platinum, gold, or palladium. I've already um pretty mm, with silver. I buy, I have three bars. I have a, a five ounce. No, I have two bars, five ounce and a ten ounce. And then I I jumped up with the other card and I bought platinum. So I have one troy ounce of platinum. So um, I'm paying that down. So that's pretty much what I, with those cards that, those credit cards, pretty much I have 
15 credit cards and what I how I treat those credit cards are like employees. I have like three of them where I pay uh, a maintenance fee. So that's just like me paying, like getting into mindset of uh, paying somebody. Okay. So um, I noticed a lot of people, they have these opportunities with credit and they're like, nah, I, gotta, I don't want to pay no monthly payment, but they don't see like the bigger picture. Like I've been getting um, credit, credit limit balance just with these specific ones I pay $10 with. I'm like, oh, this is different. Where the other traditional banks, their credit cards, they they're pretty much going off FICO. So they're playing that FICO game. And they're pretty much, they don't want, oh, they don't want, um, man, I'm trying to, yeah. Play with that a little. That's a, this is called float, float on top, what I'm doing. But um, but with with those, with credit cards, I treat them like employees. And with me paying, you know, maintenance fee like $10, every, every six months they increase it. Like I just got my last increase in May with both cards that were, that I pay um, $10 a month. But in my mind, I know a lot of people, they're trying to save every penny, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, uh, um, with credit, I treat it differently. I treat it like a new employee. So I have 15 employees working under me. So once you treat it like that, you'll give it more respect. You'll respect those cards more. You want to, you know, you won't take a card and be like, okay, yeah, let me go with this employee. Let's just go, let's go fuck off somewhere. You know, like you take it serious. Like, okay, is this, okay, is this, employee gonna make me money if I do this with him or her so it's just something psychological game you gotta play with yourself and pretty much this tech world now that we play we can play any game that we want to 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 motivate ourselves because I know me this summer I'm just I'm pumped up you know me going to the gym um I didn't go today um I, I tr I'm trying something different but I'm glad I didn't because this got me into getting back into um broadcasting again so but yeah this is where I, this these guys they're official they're legit precious metals physical st start off with silver platinum gold and then play that's the way i'm going just buying in that in that order to build up the confidence because i already got the silver the platinum now it's time for the gold but i've been watching gold and like it's right now it's too high i wouldn't so it's cool like um to myself, I'm like, okay, I have that, uh, my employee that I, I bought with, I'm still paying, paying her monthly. So, you know, once I get her paid off, then I'll start looking at, you know, gold. Cause that palladium is that, that's, I'll buy that after gold, but I'm just surprised like how much more palladium is than gold. So, but now I have silver and platinum. So I have, like, I have confidence. I know when I started buying the, the silver, I was just like, whoa, whoa. And then I bought the platinum. It's like, I think the platinum just broke, you know, even though this is my third bar, um, it it just broke me open. It was like, oh, okay, gold is next. So I hit gold and then palladium's up there, like right next to it, neck to neck. But now I wouldn't get it right now. Too expensive. Too expensive. I wait till it dropped to like 1200 next year, 2020. That's the year. Okay, back into in, inside my... Robin Hood portfolio. And I'm gonna show you guys my new my newest asset added. Let me shrink me down a little bit more. Okay. Okay, let's go to the five year. As you can see. I mean I strategized this this purchase also too. I saw that it peaked at 355. I bought it about 305, so about 50 bucks that I know that I probably I bought at a discount so that made me feel good you know with this purchase too and then plus it being a defense contracting uh company they're gonna get money from the government uh a lot of people don't don't I grew up uh, air force stepfather was in the air force and I learned I, I learned a lot um um and then I guess that's why that made me want to go army because it's like I wanted to feel you know the different styles like of the branch whether it's army um or air force and then i was like i want to go army 
so more grounds on. But now I'm like more going back to my my Air Force, more thinking. You know, the the um, the Army more prepped me for like on the ground moving. Oh, I got stories for that also. When I was in Seoul, South Korea. <laughs> okay. So current market price three hundred twenty-two dollars. I bought in about three oh five. So I'm up five point forty two percent, which is about sixteen bucks. About Northrop Grumman Corp engages in the provision of security businesses. It includes products, systems, and solution in autonomous systems, cyber command, control, communications, and computers intelligence, super surveillance and reconnaissance strike and logistics and modern modernization it operates through the following business segments aerospace systems mission systems and technology services the aerospace system segment includes the design development integration and production of manned aircraft autonomous systems spacecraft high energy laser systems microelectronics and other systems and sub 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 systems the mission systems consist of sensors and processing, cyber and intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, and advanced capabilities. The technology service focuses on global logistics and modern modernization, advanced defense services, and system modernizations and services. The company was founded by John K. Northrop, Thomas V. Jones, and Kent Cressa in 1939 and is headquartered in Falls Church, Virginia. Current CEO is Kathy J. Warden. Employees, 85,000. Headquarters, Falls Church, Virginia. Founded in 1939. Market cap, 53.54 billion. P.E. ratio, 16.66. Dividend yield, 1.92. So, buy 74%. Hold, 26%. I've already got a, a dividend from them for $1.32. So me, another strategy that I'm looking at, companies that pay a dollar, um, I was thinking more in the future to double up on those companies, but I'm going to wait until I buy the entire stock market to start building up the wall foundation first. If you build it, they will come. So that's pretty much it. Um, tomorrow, I'll be going over FICO, a little sneak preview of, of FICO, so Fair Isaac, so I'll go over that tomorrow, I mean I got, I got assets for days now, like once you get, once you know your formula and you start working it, it compound effect mixed in with compound interest this is this game it's like me at the gym now i'm playing compound effect little by little little by little little by little little by and i can see the 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 gains in it and then i'm playing the same game with this okay buy you know i got property okay now build the foundation build the house on top of the foundation so that's how that's how i'm looking at um if i want to get into like real estate i want to know how it's built you know, I want to just go and be like, okay, and start buying houses and then learn that way. But I mean, if you build something from scratch and then you get into the game of, of buying real estate, you're going to come out even so much more cleaner than most people that, that go into that game because you're going to know every, you're going to know the layout. You're going to, you're going to ask questions like other people are like, how, how you, how did you even think about that? Because you've already, you went and you, you built it you built your you built an actual house not it's already built let me man it that way and play that game no you you know like what a what a solid structure is so this is the way i'm playing um the way i'm investing in the market i apply that to now everything i do in my life and then I, it reciprocates and then i go back and i look at how i'm investing i'm like oh it's just a reflection of me of what I'm doing. So when I look at other people's portfolios, I think of it's a reflection of them. And a lot of them, they don't have any, there's no strategy to it. They're all, everything is, um. what is it? Everything is tech. 
There's no mixture in it. So I'm trying to think. There's a um Where's the actual portfolio? Is that an account? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is I'm gonna do a little breakdown. Let me shrink me down some. All right, this is different. So pretty much, as you can see, um, the portfolio value. I like this stocks and options is broken down. 93% of my portfolio. Cryptocurrencies, 0.63%. Cash, 6.38%. And then these are pretty much all the stocks. Wow. Okay, as you can see, this is just quick go through. These are all my stocks. The biggest one being Google. As you can see, oh, that's what mine's looks like. Wow, that looks beautiful. <laughs> but I'm gonna go through all these are all the companies' assets that I that are building the foundation. It keeps me busy. I love it. I just you know the numbers like and then you got companies around the world and you got mining companies and supermarket companies and the way just the way different uh mindset but it's so easy like if people saw this they'd be like how 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 in the hell and then here's the cryptocurrencies so litecoin Let's see a little breakdown I said it's good. What is that? Oh. I don't do no day trading, so. Wow, that was interesting. So, that was Northrop Grumman. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'll, I'll do um, FICO. See you in the next one. Peace.